Welcome to a new question of the day. The previous video was a general theoretical overview of principal component analysis or PCA. Today we ask ourselves how to configure a simple PCA and interpret its main output. We started talking about PCA when we asked the question of how to summarize the info carried by several quantitative variables. We were looking at our usual customer database from an online shoe store. We want to summarize the information carried by weight, shoe size, height, and time spent on the site. In Excel Stat, go to Analyzing Data and select Principal Component Analysis. Select your data in the Observations Variables table. In the Observation Labels field, select the Client column, then click OK. A window pops up asking us to select the two PCA axes to represent on two dimensional charts. Axes F1 and F2 carry 92% of the information from the initial data set. In comparison, axes F1 and F3 carry about 72% of the initial information. Thus, we propose to focus the interpretation on axis F1 and F2. Click on Done. PCA generates many outputs that help the user explore the data. We'll focus our interpretation on two essential PCA charts, the correlation circle as well as the observations chart. Scroll down to the correlation circle. This chart examines the relationships between variables. The horizontal axis is the first PCA dimension, representing 64% of the initial information. The vertical axis is the second PCA dimension. Red vectors are the investigated variables. Here, things should be interpreted in terms of angles, either between variables or between variables in PCA dimensions. Narrow angles reflect positively linked variables. Height and weight are thus positively correlated. Right angles depict variables that are unrelated to each other. This is the case for shoe size and height. Obtuse angles represent negative relationships. When height increases, time spent on site decreases. Axis F1 is linked to important weight and heights on the right, and to high values on time spent on the site on the left. Axis F2 is related to the shoe size variable. High shoe sizes are on the top, and low sizes are at the bottom. In the correlation circle, vector lengths represent representativeness quality in the investigated PCA dimension. If a variable has a short vector length on dimensions F1 and F2, then its information is likely to be better represented in other PCA dimensions, maybe F3. If that's the case, we would suggest to relaunch the analysis and choose to display dimension F3. Now scroll down to the observations chart. This chart will help us relate individuals to variables and to one another. Here again, the horizontal axis is the first PCA dimension and the vertical axis is the second. Individuals to the right have larger sizes and weights and spend less time on the website. Individuals to the left are smaller and spend more time on the website. And Derek seems to have big feet. See how easy it is to explore a multi-dimensional data set using PCA? In an upcoming question of the day, we'll see how we're able to gain even deeper insight into our PCA analysis by adding supplementary variables. See you soon.